The next thing to consider is Access FM. This is an acronym and this just means that all the letters mean something different. The first letter is an A. This stands for Aesthetics. Aesthetics relates to the human senses, for example sight, touch, hear, smell, taste. In the case of a keyring, the aesthetics that should be considered are sight and maybe touch. You might want to consider the colour you paint it, if the shape of the design works well, or what details have been added to grab people's attention. An example for my product might be, I will use bright colours because it relates to the theme of an umbrella and can make it stand out to the customer. The second letter to consider is a C. This stands for cost. The things that need to be considered at this stage are how you might keep the cost down when making it so that your design could make more profit or how much you might sell it for and why. An example for my keyring might be I will keep the product fairly small to reduce the amount of materials I need to use. This will reduce the amount I need to spend on materials and increase my profit. The third letter is also a C. This stands for Client. The things that need to be considered at this stage are things like the colour and the design, and if they are suitable for the client. The word Client just means who you, who you are designing the product for. An example of this would be, I have chosen to paint the umbrella keyring multicoloured because my product is for boys and girls and these colours would suit both genders. The fourth letter is an E. This stands for environment. Things that need to consider at this stage are things like the six R's. This stands for recycle, reduce, rethink, repair, reuse, refuse, or is the material biodegradable, i.e. will the material rot away easily after use? Or are the materials used sustainable, which means will they ever run out if we make large amounts? An example for my design would be, I will use recycled materials to make the keyring because it means less rocks need to be dug up. This will reduce the product's carbon footprint. Carbon footprint just means the total greenhouse gas emissions caused by an individual or a product. The fifth letter is an S. This stands for size. The things to consider at this stage are how big the product will be, why you would want to make it this size, where will the product be placed, and why knowing the place affects the size. An example for my design would be the key ring will be 50 millimeters high by 50 millimeters wide by 3 millimeters deep so that it will fit easily in a child's pocket. The sixth letter is also an S. This stands for safety. The things to consider at this stage are, is the product potentially dangerous? What have you done to reduce the dangers? An example for my design would be, I've rounded the corners of the keyring to reduce the chance of a child getting cut. I will also smooth the metal to reduce the chance of metal splinters. The seventh letter is an F. This stands for function. This relates to how my product works. The things to think about at this stage are, will the product do what it's supposed to do? How does it work? Could you make it easier to use? An example for my design would be, the hole will be drilled at least 5mm in from the edge so that it will be strong and stop the ring from pulling through the material. The final letter is an M. This stands for manufacture. The things to consider at this stage are how are you going to make the product, what tools you might use to use and why, how you might finish the product i.e. with acrylic paint or spray paint. An example for my product would be it will be made by melting the pewter then pouring the metal into a mould so it can make large amounts to speed up manufacture.